G'day fellas and a welcome to a casted game. Sporting in on the south side of the map in the color teal, playing as the French, we've got Pigman. Get you a nice little wide zoom in there. Take a look at that. I'm noticing this uh, this monument is being used quite a bit by uh, by by a, nu a numerous number of players, as uh, is is one way to say it. Anyway, on the other side of the map in the color orange, playing as the Delhi Sultanate, representing Team Liquid. It is Demu. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the pit. We're here watching two players on the rank ladder battle it out. We're going to try and find a way to work ourselves through this meta, discover something new. And I'm looking forward to seeing what we've got from Demu today. Obviously, one of one of my top five players, that is for sure. It's a little bit, uh, it's a, it's a little bit uh, cramped in there, I'll be honest. But uh, I'll tell you who's not in there at the moment. Pigman. Pigman is 2,000 rating, so he's still pretty damn good, but he's not Demu good. So I think coming into this game, Demu is going to be the favorite. And speaking of favorites, if you haven't already, do enjoy, or do I do encourage you rather, if you if you do enjoy these videos, please leave a like as it really does help out the channel. But let's take a look at this opening from Demu. A lot of wood being taken early on. We can see he's taken 100 wood, so he's going to be able to get that early, uh, that early forestry. It's often we do see those Delhi players look to delay going into the lumber camp, particularly early, just because it's an extra 50 wood. But you do get that forestry early on. And, uh, and everything going pretty stock standard. So this is a fun matchup. I like this matchup a lot. It largely comes down to food control and whether the French player is going to be able to deny that food away from the Delhi Sultanate. Uh, a lot of the food is quite far forward as well. There's no real safe food on this map, even though you do have these berry bushes behind the back of your base and these deer back here. They're, they're not really, you know, like back here sort of safe, uh, which you can have on a couple of maps. Obviously, the other big thing to note is going to be sacred sites. It's largely going to be fought around sacred sites. So we'll have to see exactly... How, how Pigman looks to try and fight it. Over on the other side of the map, though, we do see Demo looking to pick up those early upgrades. So opening up here with our efficient production, as well as a wheelbarrow and forestry. But the age up about to come through here. Let's take a look and see which landmark we're going to we're gonna be getting. I would suspect it's probably going to be a school of cavalry. Let's see exactly what the man who looks like a pig is going to go for. There's the Vils move, moving towards the front. And indeed, oh, 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 oh. Nah, nah, he was just repositioning. Don't, don't, don't get excited, children. Don't get excited. He was just repositioning. But uh, slowly but steadily going up. I mean, four vills is, a, is about standard. Demo going to be looking to age up as well here. He spots this one out straight away. Sees the timing on this. Sees the four villagers and goes, well, that's, that's going to be a pretty early age up here. But will spot out the stone as well. So knows exactly what his opponent's up to. Knows he's going for two TCs. And to me, that's always a little bit dangerous to be opening a two TCs against the Delhi Sultanate. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure that uh, that Pigman knows what he's doing, but that really kind of scares me because the Delhi Sultan. I feel like it's a civilization that you just have to come out of the gate strong uh, against because if you don't, they will get, they will take control of the map. They will start to wall up, and especially against the French, it's just going to be so easy for Demo. I suspect he's going to be looking to drop down that barracks in the transition period. We can see he's gone for the Tower of Victory here instead of going for the Dome of the Faith, which is going to give him access to those faster attack speed spearmen which is going to be really nice if he does end up opening up with that barracks. But I guess throughout the game as well, just going up against any kind of cavalry threat here, it's going to be super easy for him to deal with having that extra. It's a slight amount, only 15%. But for each unit, it's different. That's one of the things that uh, that is not commonly known, is that each unit is affected differently by that 15% attack speed, which kind of makes sense. But at the same time, like the numbers are really different. Like the crossbow is massively buffed by it compared to the archer, which is like slightly buffed by it. I don't know how it works. I think they may have fixed it. Maybe I'm maybe I'm using outdated numbers. But anyway, we're right on board with our French player as the age up comes through now, just shy of the four minute mark. I'll, I'll, you know what? I'll call it the four minute mark. How about let's go with that. And we see a knight thrown in queue straight away. At the same time, only enough villagers on food just to maintain village production. And we do see rallying out to wood, looking for that second TC. Does he... Uh, there's a part of me that thinks, like, maybe you could go for a third TC here. You'd, you you wouldn't, but maybe you could. Uh, would it pay off in time? It probably would, actually, to go for a third TC. As the French, especially. Barracks coming up as well. I, I actually think you... Oh, no, you'd probably die. You just died to <laughs> You just died to a one, one TC uh, Delhi timing attack, surely. Uh, they'd take all three sacred sites and laugh at you as they killed you. Uh, that, that, that's the only way it would go. All right, let's check in with Demu, though, and see how he's doing. As the upgrades are starting to come through, we see textiles. He's not taking any chances here. Keep in mind, if you're playing up against a civilization like the French, the Malians, the Rus, 
uh, e even against the Mongols, it's worthwhile getting textiles as the Delhi Sultan because it is for free. It takes 22 seconds compared to, say, 20 seconds for a villager. Uh, but if you save one villager, well, then you've you've earned every every single cent that you spent on it. That comes in, though. Looks like the scout's going to be able to block it. Keep in mind, the scout does regenerate health. So over time, that will come back, that health. And Spear just looking to chase away for the moment. Keep in mind, he's got the Scholar inside. So he's got that extra fast production coming through. Now that knight moving towards the top side. Keep in mind, Demu's going to know that there's only one knight out because he was going for a second TC, his opponent. So he's not going to have to invest too much into additional spears at this point. But he does continue adding them in. We see this one actually moving out towards the center. Probably going to be looking to throw down a wall around that sacred site or maybe just wall off the central passageway. It's probably the best bet, especially considering you're up against knights here. We do see on that south side of the map, though, Pigman has begun taking the deer hunt with the second town center. And now where does he go from here? I, I would suspect he looks to move into archers. It just seems like the natural progression, right? Like your enemy's making spears. So you're probably going to go into it. And you can see li nice little bait out attempt here from Pigman. Not going to be able to find it. The knight trying to get the charge off on the spear. But uh, Demo obviously paying very good attention. Very close attention. Knight comes through, gets the charge. Villager loses a bit of health. He might have to pull that one back to a sheep underneath the TC. That's always the safe bet. But we do now start to see there are scholars out and about here. Sanctity's on the way through. A minute, a minute and five seconds ago. Pretty decent timing on his Sanctity here. And the wall up in the center is complete. So I expect to see the gate coming down. There's the gate uh, that is going to get thrown down. And he'll be looking to move towards one of those additional sacred sites. So I don't know exactly how much information he's got about the position of his enemy. Obviously, he knows that the second TC is on the board just simply because he saw the stone, uh, the, the the mining camp on the stone outcropping. So he knows the second TC exists, but he doesn't know exactly where it is. And normally, you're going to play away from that initially, and then you'll play into it, which would mean that you would want to take this sacred site first, you know, get, up, get your nice little wall up here or just wall across the entire thing. And then finally, you'd come down here and this is where you'd just be rallying all your military because this is the, the main target you want to hit. You know, normally you wouldn't want to come down here, wall this off and then make your way up to this top side and then rally all your units up here because then you're, you're working towards that main TC, which I mean you can do, but this is the, the weakest point of the enemy. But uh, you can see that obviously Demu does lack that information about where where that second TC did go down. We've obviously got Omnivision, so it makes it a bit easier for us, but look at this knight back behind enemy lines. Spearman going to be thrown out here real quickly. 12 seconds. It takes a while for him to come out with no scholar inside. It looks like no no villagers have been taken out just yet, but the, look at the scout. The single scout holding it down for Demo. Hero scout right there. Sanctity is through now, uh, or at least, yeah, it, 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 it almost, it, it certainly is. Uh, so he's going to be moving out now to capture these sacred sites. So I, I would expect that he's probably going to keep a couple spears here on this sacred side just out of fear for that royal knight. But he does spot the royal knight and sees it going towards that north side. So he should be absolutely fine. In the middle of the map, though, does spot more units beginning to come through. Expect Demi to move into... He's going into an archery range, which makes sense considering the Tower of Victory. I would have thought he'd go into a stable just because you spot out from your enemy that they're going into those archers. But I guess you can technically just make better archers than they can because you've got that extra attack speed. So it's always something to be excited about. First sacred site being taken. Second sacred site being taken. A single sacred site remains in the north, yet to be taken. And the question is going to be, how does Demu go about finishing this game off? Because when you're a Delhi player, normally you want to try and finish the game off early. It, it all comes about, you know, leveraging the gold that you make from the sacred sites. How do you utilize that? How do you get to the castle age? How do you, you uh, go from the castle age? And what do you do from there? Do you look to go into, uh, into keeps? Do you look to play it a little bit more passively uh, with... You know, may, maybe just take the sacred sites and, and look to wall up. I, I guess uh, no matter what, I feel like there's always just going to be an element of keeps to it. Whether that's village fortresses, whether that is just, you know, throwing them down on the sacred sites. But now Demo going to build up those forces. Not a lot of villagers here on food. Compare that to his opponent sitting on 21 villagers on food. Quite the economy coming out right now for Pigment. And now more units rallying out as that knight mass in the center breaks through onto that central sacred site and the numbers here for demu looking a little bit questionable questionable rather you gotta wonder where where are all the units where is everybody is it oh it's because he's gone into double blacksmith so double blacksmith means that obviously he's gonna have his, his upgrades but it means it's gonna take a little bit of time before he gets all of the units out now cheeky little wall coming through from the french player spears doing a really decent job of just 
forcing back the archers. Then the, the numbers aren't high enough that they can get the one shots off at this point, especially with that ranged armor now through for demo. And he's doing a really good job of just forcing everything back. Should be easily able to rewall the centerpiece here. Let's see if he looks for it. I'd be surprised if he even goes for a gate here. Let's see exactly what the response is going to be, though. Oh, it, it, it might it might actually be... It might, it might not work. I think you might need to come down on an angle like that, but you're probably going to be losing units if you do go for it. Ghazi Raider's now coming out for demo. Keep in mind the Ghazi Raider is effective against range units, but also gets a little bit of damage as well against heavy units, which means it can stack up quite well against the Royal Knights. I think the Royal Knights still probably win pound for pound, but the Ghazi Raider still obviously does a lot better than what the Horseman did back in the day. So at this point in time, I've got to give the advantage over to the French player. They've managed to stabilize on a second TC. They haven't been taken out for a, with the Sacred Sight timer just yet. So normally you would expect, and I'm kind of surprised to see this, but Demo hasn't gone for this Sacred Sight in the North at all yet. And that, that to me, that's a little bit a little bit concerning just because it's kind of like, it's free real estate, right? Like it's, it's the whole meme. Uh, it, it, it's quite literally free real estate up there. Um, even just sending like a single spear up there to wall, uh, it, it is, uh, it's, it's something that, that could have been done. But he hasn't gone for it just yet. So we'll have to wait and see what his plan is as he begins to dive down at the enemy. He's outnumbering him by an absolute country mile at the moment. Still going to have to fall back away from this. And you can see the numbers starting to fall in favor of Demo quite substantially here. Just as we call the advantage in favor of Pigman, the numbers really start to dwindle for him. Diving now towards that town center. Do we see Demo looking to pick up Siege Engineering? We'll quickly check in. Indeed, it's in queue. It's coming through in the next five seconds. Next 10 seconds, it'll be it'll be on the way in. But the night numbers, look at the night numbers. Hold on, hold your horses, quite literally. Look at look at the micro coming in as well here. Beautiful micro on this backside, just making sure he keeps all of these knights alive on as much or on as little health as he possibly can. But still the numbers do dwindle, but it looks like he should be okay. Keep in mind, he does have the knight mass here to hold. And Demu gonna be forced back away. The consequence of going in underneath that town center is that uh, it does do a pretty decent job of taking you out. And we can see now Chivalry going to be coming through. Really good value here for Pigman. Now let's check in with Demo and see how he's doing. So to me, this really just seems like a a, a, a very basic mistake. And it, it sucks, right? Because, you know, I'm, I'm a big fan of Demo. He's a really good Delhi player. And I feel like he's probably just under quite a bit of pressure right now towards this mid side. Hasn't really looked to apply pressure towards the top side. I guess the, the other thing is, maybe he's just considering, you know, if, if I do go for that top position and I do it undefended, I'm just going to lose a, I'm just going to lose a scholar because it's so close to his base, right? Like if we look at the knight, how, how quick does it take for a knight to get from here up to here? Like it's, it's less than 30 seconds for sure. So it's almost certainly going to be going down. So unless you want to take the resources and wall that off completely and then take it, then you're kind of throwing away a scholar, which makes sense. But for me, that, that goes against every single thing I've ever taught, everything I've ever read in the textbook of how to play the Delhi Sultan. But uh, Demo now. Going to be aging up and going to be looking to go for the House of Learning. A landmark that has been considered by many people to be a little bit underrated. But we do see it. Knights having to fall back away from this front side. Demo still maintaining a, a decent mass despite going up to the castle age here. Meanwhile, our French player looking to pick up some upgrades. We start to see double broadaxe as well as wheelbarrow coming through here. We'll switch it over to income per minute. At the moment, Demu on about 1,700-ish. Compare that to his opponent who's sitting on about 2k, which you would expect with that villager difference. Knights, though, managed to fake out the spears. No skewers coming out for the moment. Right on board with Demu as the age up comes through. And now we look to see some of the unique technologies coming through for the Delhi Sultan. Most, most, the most potent ones, probably owned blades or honed blades. I don't even know. Every, every time I say it, the, the United States, people from the Americas always just like, oh, honed blades. He said it's so funny. It's like, that, that's just how I say it, man. That's my accent. Come on, leave me alone. Relics though, getting picked up. You can hear them behind the scenes. Demo already with four relics in the back pocket. This guy. This guy right here. Take a look at this. Take a look at my relics. She's the only one I need. Look at that. Four relics on the way through. You could technically go for this fifth one. It's going to be a little bit tougher. Town Center gets relatively good line of sight over here. And we can see those walls now starting to come up. Look at the upgrades as well for Demo. He is not missing a beat. 
So many games I've casted with like Puppy Paw, Wham, Vortex, Lucifron, and they just forget their upgrades. Like they, they will age up and they just forget their upgrades. I remember casting a Puppy Paw game where he just never got his eco upgrades. He literally went age three and just never got eco upgrades. Like age two or age three eco ups. I think he got Wheelbarrow and like Forestry and that was it. Never got anything else though. Wallalol? Is he going to Wallalol? He probably should Wallalol on the, with the second one while the first one moves back. Not going to be able to find it though. First one goes down. Numbers for Demi looking a little bit concerning. We can see at the moment the Pigman is really looking to go heavy on this Feudal Age approach. It's been a little bit of a back and forth here, but the Knights are now out joining the Garci Raiders. Upgrades on the way through. Herbal Medicine. Lumber Preservation. Horticulture. Rather, uh, Fertilization. Uh, what, what do we got here? Balance Projectiles. I, you know, I knew that one. I knew that one. Veterancy on the Spearman. Acid Distillation. Honed Blades. Swiftness? Is that that's Swiftness, right? Yeah, Swiftness. Uh, and we got our... Oh, Iron Undermesh is the first one. I, I can't. I can't. Wedge Rivets. Of course. I, of course I knew that one. And now Demi looking to push out. Comes through in, in on the Stealth Forest. Doesn't really see much of what the enemy's got there. But still looks to take the fight. French player thinking about aging up. At the same time, a little bit of a raid on that top side. Hitting him from all over. Crossbow's now joining the mix. Gotta be so careful as the Knight player against those crossbows. You leave them uncontested and they will just dish out damage so insane against you. But now those Knights able to fight without the threat of the crossbows on the backside. The numbers starting to look really good here for our French player. Overwhelming. Demu. Walls up towards that top side. As well as on that bottom side. He's completely walled himself off on those extremities. You can see just look at look at the the damage that the crossbows do. It's incredible, man. One volley of the archers and it's like, yeah. And then one volley of the, the crossbows that does half the health. It's incredible. Obviously, they're a counter unit though, so it kind of makes sense. But now going to be able to charge through. Needs to try and focus down those crossbows. There they are on the front. Indeed, focusing them down. Second one going to get taken out here as well. And it looks like all of them going to be going the way, the way of the dodo. Expect to see a keep thrown down here. Great base building coming through from our French player, Pigman. As you would expect. And now Demu begins for with the farm transition. The 17 minute mark. Pretty decent timing here, 17 minutes. Obviously, Delhi Sultan, this isn't their best map. There's not the most uh, food on a map like this. You know, compare that to, say, your... your not your high view, but I mean your uh, your Lippany, all that all that good stuff. But now our French player really looking to commit here to feudal age. Seventeen minutes in the feudal age, or at least in the in the the dark end the feudal age. I guess you could call it the feudal age, though. Definitely feels that way. The dark age is is more of just a. It, it's it's just a. Uh, what, what what do you call it? Where you just like you're just signing. It's just paperwork. I mean, realistically. Uh, that, it's kind of wild to me that Empire Wars hasn't really taken off yet, but I guess there's no really mechanism for it to take off, though, in, in saying that. Archer numbers, though. Starting to dwindle under this TC. Damage is throwing away units for the moment. He's taken out a pretty decent chunk of villages here as well. Take a look at this. 11 work kills so far, which is not too bad. More units now coming in on that north side. It looks like he's going to add in some spears here. So really starting to mix in the unit composition. We're seeing everything coming out from Demo. We've seen spears. We've seen everything except for men at arms. And I've got some good news for all you men at arm enjoyers out there. Somewhere on this map right now, there is a man and he is at arms. I don't know where he is though. Is he lost? No, I'm lost. There he is. Maybe we saw him earlier and we just, we didn't see. We've seen spears. We've seen men at arms, Gazi raiders. We've seen lances, archers, crossbows. We've seen the whole shebang, baby. What are we missing? Oh, I know what we're missing. Elephants. We're missing elephants. Will we see Demu go for the no elephant challenge today? Probably not. I mean, you'd be crazy to do the no elephant challenge in a ranked ladder match. We'll tune in towards the center of the map as that sacred site is getting taken. I, f I find it wild that Demu still has not yet contested this top sacred site at all. Knight comes through, though. Take a look at this. No textiles in on these villagers. It's going to have an absolute field day here if it chooses to, and indeed it does choose to go after those villagers. And now more knights coming in, looking to try and deal with the enemy lancer. Crossbows get taken out. Another lancer looking to run past. But Demu going to be able to find villagers. He's looking for it. Doesn't see anything, though. There are villagers down here towards this gold vein. 
He's not running towards it though. He's got a little bit of a rally point in. Comes up on the tree line. And still, we've got a Feudal Age play here from the French. A hundred villagers in the Feudal Age. 20 minutes in, still just committing to it. I don't, I, to be honest, you know, I often talk about this and I say that the French can fight in the Feudal Age against Castle Age Civs. But this is where I start to get a little bit worried because now you've got crossbows getting added in. And you can try and fight this, but the reality is, is you need to fight fire with fire and you don't have access to fire yet. And I'm not, I'm not saying that he needs to make crossbows, but you need to have Castle Age units against crossbows. At least that's the way it feels to me. Unless he wants to... I don't know, does he dare go into horsemen himself? He could probably look to go into horsemen right now. Is he going to find the window to go castle, though? That's, that's the scary thing. Keep going up on that north side. Demo, keep in mind, hasn't opted for the compound of the defender. Instead, going for the House of Learning. Looking to pick up hardy rations next. Then going into the reinforced foundations. Then the tranquil venue. And then finally, lookout towers. Pretty... I, I like this tech. I think this is quite good. Keep going up. Rem remember, he's got access to uh, village fortresses. Probably the best Delhi tech. At least I would say the most game-changing Delhi tech. And finally, 21 minutes into this game, we see all sacred sites taken by Demo. It took some time, but we did get there in the end. But I, I feel like the economy for the French player is in a decent spot. I mean, he's 20 villagers behind where he should be because he's lost a lot of workers. But he's still in a good spot, right? He's up 30 vils. Compare that to Demo. Demu's got four relics and three sacred sites. So it's probably somewhere close. In fact, let's compare the pair. We've got 1,500, 1,200. So you're talking 2,700 plus 800, 3,500 resource income uh, against a demo who's sitting on about 1,300 uh, plus, so 2,000, 2,700. So still pretty far in favor of our French player at the moment. But I just feel like he hasn't been taking good fights. And, that, and that's supported by the destroyed value. We can see that he's only destroyed 11.4k compared to Demo, who's destroyed 16.4k. So Demo's just been taking really good fights here. And despite that, we still see scores so damn close. Expect to see the score jump here for our French player as soon as that Royal Institute is complete. Normally, I don't go off the scores. I tell people, don't look at it. It's not accurate. But it, it does give you a bit of an idea as to where these guys are. And now that that age up comes through, an extra 400 score gets added on. So it definitely tells you that at this point in time, our French player is ahead of demo now that the castle age has come through so let's check in with the numbers and see how, how we're doing here because there's a whole different a whole bunch of different routes you can go as the french now that you're in castle age the most common one that you're going to see is a keep thrown down a, a keep is mandatory to be thrown down in this position because not only is it going to solidify this central location it's also going to reduce the cost of each of these production facilities and that's really really big it's a massive amount that it reduces 20%. Down to, it goes down to 25% with the enlistment incentives. We don't see it coming through just yet. But we do see a unique technology. The Royal Bloodline tech. If there's ever been a technology that can turn the tide of battle, it is that technology. People underestimate Royal Bloodline knights. They, they, they look at them and they're like, yeah, that's fine, I can deal with it. And then you just can't deal with it. You get overwhelmed completely. Archers teeing off. Upgrades are now through. He's got his veterancy. Looking for his plus two range. He's already picked up plus two range attack. Just needs that armor. Single horseman getting added in. And there's the keep getting thrown down. That's what we expected. He's built his base perfectly for it. A lot of villagers being brought forward for this. 12. He will need a solution to deal with these sacred sites. We can see the second keep coming up village fortresses almost through another 20 seconds he's even got the wi-fi out here on the mosque just to make it come through a little bit faster another keep going to be coming in the middle but it looks like for the most part our french player should be able to to take this out as long as he waits for the royal bloodlines so that's going to be key he only has to wait another 10 seconds don't take the fight for another 10 seconds and you'll be fine but he loses knights that's two that have gone down right there archers beginning to move forward you can see him teeing off towards the crossbows on the back still royal bloodlines not in another two seconds he's lost how many knights in this time i don't know how i don't want, i don't know how many i don't want to, to count but that is really painful 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 to watch as demu overwhelms him on the sacred site you can see those numbers just continuing to come through Lance is going to be able to force these units back and a massive mistake. Absolutely huge mistake right there from our French player. Which just goes to show, even if you're 2k rating, you can still make mistakes. You feel the pressure. 
you've got upgrades on the way through. And yet, you say to yourself, ah, I'm just going to take the fight right now. He didn't need to fight then. There was nothing that was requiring him to fight at that very moment. And yet, he still took the fight. And he, not only did he lose, but look at the destroyed value. It just got even worse. 22k versus 14k. He's got a huge... He's got a mountain to climb right now. Siege Workshop now going to be coming up for him. He's still got plenty of time. Six minutes, which means he can go into Trebs if he wants to. Other option that you've got is to go into Battering Rams. It's definitely a favorite for some. Battering Rams have improved a significant amount recently. At least in the minds of the people. Looks like we've got crossbow stirrups on the way through as well. Keep in mind you've got Gambesons, another unique tech that you can get for your Arbolatria. I tell you what, it, it, it kind of surprises me that the French Arbolatria isn't as good or is, isn't as common as it should be. Where are my Arbolatria enjoyers? Why don't we just see people spamming only Arbolatria with Springles? Is that it? Is, is that my calling? Is my calling to be an Arbolatria enjoyer? Because I could definitely... In, I, I, I could do that. And speaking of enjoying it, uh, where, are the, where are the elephants coming out for Demi? Demi not going any elephants at all. In fact, going Imperial. Going into the Hissard Academy. Let's see if we can find it. Going to try and locate it. There it is. This is the food landmark, if I remember correctly. Indeed, it is. So not going to be the Sultan's landmark. But sits with another five minutes remaining. A French player begins to push out. First of the trebuchets is online. Second one coming through now. Begins to focus down. That keep... Now, how many scholars are we looking at? We're looking at 19 scholars. How does Demu hold all of these scholars? That is a huge amount of scholars when you think about it. And he's paying full price for these scholars. These are expensive boys. Look at this, 130 gold. That's a lot. But these upgrades are going to come through really quick. Take a look at this. 58 seconds for elite crossbows. 58 seconds. Are you kidding me? Biology. No, that's not biology. That's biology. Three minutes. I mean, that, that's still pretty good. That's a technology that costs, what, 700 gold? 300 food normally? And now we're talking. Now these upgrades coming through. Two minutes on plate cutter point. As long as Demu survives the next two to three minutes, he's going to be fully upgraded. He'll have elite everything. But the problem is the next two to three minutes are the sacred victory timings. So does he look to just play it out as an Imperial enjoyer? Or does he look to try and defend everything? Does he put it all on the line? He's sitting at 165 pop at the moment. Keep now firing off. Doesn't look like... No, he's got boiling oil. You can you can see right there. Yeah, he's got the boiling oil. I just didn't see the animation for it play. Those little windows indicate that he's got boiling oil. You can see over here, no boiling oil. Because he's got no windows. I'm, I'm trying to think of a joke about like boiling oil and, and windows, like the windows, the operating system, boiling oil, but I, I, I just, I can't find it. It, it. I'm sure it's in there. Like if I, if I, yo, chat GPT, can you write me a joke that somehow links windows and oil that burns? Thank you. I'll come back to, to you guys with it in the next video. That, that's not a promise. <laughs> Elite Lance is now coming through. Demu, not even gonna have to wait. Look how quickly they came through. They're already in. He's got 3 minutes and 30 seconds approaching. Look how quickly these upgrades are on the way right now. 23 seconds for Elite Ghazi Raiders. He's getting everything in right now. Delhi Sultanate, a civilization that was always underestimated in the Imperial Age, is now a civilization that can prioritize going Imperial simply because it is so damn quick to get these upgrades in. A minute and it's free. A minute and it's free. Do you know how much it costs to get an Imperial upgrade? Look at this. A thousand resources and he's getting them for free. Every single upgrade, plus 1,000, plus 1,000. Red Palace coming in, though, for our French player. Start, I'm, I'm starting to get worried because, if, if anything, this Red Palace should be, like, over here, right? Like, this is where it should be. It should be just pushing on this keep. He should just throw villagers inside it, siege down the keep, and, you know, and that'll be it. But th this is... Okay, he cancels it. Good. That is exactly what you need to do. You need to bring this bad boy up. You need to throw it right. Thank you very much. That is exactly what you need to do, my French friend. Two minutes and 40 seconds to go. He's still got plenty of time. Demu for the response. Oh my God, he's going into war elephants. Oh my God, he's going into war, war elephants. This is a much better position. This is so much better. And I'm, I'm really glad that he canceled it. It just doesn't make sense to me to be throwing it down here. But yeah, sure. It's, it's, it's wonderful if you didn't take this sacred site or, if, or rather if you did take this or neutralize the sacred site but you didn't but now 
trouble in paradise where's all the units in fact he's, he's going into arbitria we're seeing it the arbitria spam but he's up against full knights here looks like the red palace should get up he'll need to throw all the villagers inside we can see a bit of a sweep around coming in oh my lord have i spoken too soon all of the knights able to get really good connections here red palace it's coming up i'm got i need to zoom it zoom it make it wider drongo make it wider all the villagers are dying all the villagers are dead oh, the caster curse comes in locked as far as he could he gives it up good game gets called oh my lord the terrible feeling that that must have right there for pig man ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed this casted game it went down to the absolute wire check out demo i'll leave a link in the description to where you can watch him live and of course i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching